What's going on guys, it's Hi, and I recently made a video detailing the Silencer Shop eForm1 beta service. Well, after 16 days, my Form 1 was approved by the ATF and it was time to move on to the next phase. If you're unfamiliar with the Form 1 process, there's really only two major steps. First is to submit your Form 1 application. Second is to get your firearm engraved with some information from your application to designate that this firearm is now an SBR or whatever it is that you applied for. The ATF requires that the engraving be at least 1 16th in height and 3 thousandths of an inch in depth. If you have the machinery and know-how, you can, of course, get this done by yourself, but most of us are going to be going to find someone else to do the work. I'm located in the Puget Sound area of Washington and went to Hyperion Precision in Kent. I found this business after doing some research on the topic and saw that they were recommended by a few people online. After checking out their website, I saw that they also offer same day turnaround times and that pretty much sold it for me because I didn't want to drive back and forth or have to ship my lower to anyone. I just wanted the service done. If you're around the area, I can definitely recommend this business. Trevor, the owner, sets everything up and allows customers to proofread to make sure that everything is correct. Then the actual laser engraving process for the Form 1 is pretty quick. It literally takes about a minute to get it done, but that depends on what you're getting engraved. The ATF requires that all Form 1s be engraved with the manufacturer's name, then city and state. I submitted a Form 1 under a trust, so my trust name was engraved instead of my own. Also, Trevor has a lot of experience doing these engravings and recommended that I should also include the caliber submitted on my Form 1, so I agreed and also included that. Not completely necessary, but just a recommendation. As you can see, I did my engraving in the Magwell. I did this because I wanted the engraving to be as unobtrusive as possible. As far as I know and what I was told, you can put the engraving pretty much anywhere that's visible. I do want to point out again that the ATF only requires the engraving to be 3 thousandths of an inch in depth. Trevor actually engraves quite a bit deeper and that's a good thing because 3 thousandths of an inch is barely anything. If you only engrave that deep and decide to do a coating like Cerakote or just spray paint, something that adds material, the engraving will likely be covered over and then you're back to square one. Even bead blasting in preparation for a coating can damage an engraving that deep, so just keep that in mind. It would definitely be wise to go quite a bit deeper than what the ATF's minimum requirement is. Finally, since I was already getting my lower engraved and because the primary weapon systems lower that I was using had a big canvas on the side, I decided to also engrave my logo onto this lower. This turned out extremely well and really helped to make this firearm my own. And here we are with the final product, my primary weapon systems Mark 111 Mod 2M short barrel rifle with an 11.85 inch barrel and a stock. I'm very happy with the current state of this rifle. It was already my favorite AR before the Form 1, but the Form 1 just made it that much better and all the laser engraving really helped with that. This thing is mine and it will likely be mine forever, so I can't say that I have any complaints. I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you can give the video a thumbs up. Share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. And if you want to further support my work, consider hitting the join button down below to become a member of this channel or becoming a patron on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.